Welcome. In the previous video I showed you how to perform a Bauker test or McNemer Bauker test and in this video I'll show you how you could do a McNemer postdoc analysis on this. Um, what we want to do is to know if, uh, this if the change in symmetry is caused by uh, people going from brand B to brand A or from A to C or from B to C. So is there a, is this 10 significantly different from this 3? Is this 5 significantly different from this uh, 0? Etc. So that means in essence we'll be doing three different uh, versions, brand A and brand B, from A to C versus C to A, and from B to C versus C to A. Now it's a bit tedious with SPSS, but it can be done. What we first need to do is select cases. So we go for data, sorry and then select cases then click on if condition is satisfied and click on if and I want to have the before should be unequal to 3 and the uh, after in my example variable should also be unequal to 3 that will leave me with only the 1's and the 2's click on continue uh, Oh, I forgot here. And then uh, and should be in between. Continue. Click on OK. And now if I run a test, uh, I can go for the Analyze Descriptive Statistics cross tabs and select already my two variables are in there. And select Statistics. And then make sure McNemer is selected. Click on Continue click on OK and it nicely shows me only A and B and it shows that these two have a significance of 0 0.092 so 0 0.092 now we need to do the same for A and C so leaving out brand B and luckily there's this uh, recall you recently used dialog so I go to select cases there click on the if and I want to remove the two now so we only s left with 1 and 3. Continue and OK. Again use the recently dialogs, go to cross tabs, everything should still be in there. Click on OK. This one has a significance of 0 0.063, so 0 0.063. And going back again and again using the recently dialogs, select cases, if, and the last one I want to compare is everything excluding the number one click on continue ok again the cross tabs uh, click on ok and now it's B against C and 0 0.041 0 0.041 now these are the significances uh, if we wouldn't adjust for multiple testing and to adjust for multiple testing uh, one method often used is the Bonferroni method on Veroni. Um, in this case we've done three tests so we need to adjust our significance levels by that amount so we can say that this one actually gets multiplied by 3 and our new significance level is 0 0.276, 0 0.189 and 0 0.123 so the adjusted significance are these now as you can see none of these are actually significant uh, this one was but because of the adjustment no longer is because it's not above 0.05 so that means that although it's not symmetrical we can't really pinpoint which one is actually causing it uh, still most likely it's the brand B uh, C version but it's not significant so we're not really allowed to say anything about it 